All right, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. So this will be a quick one. I just wanted to show you guys this. So got another Pioneer SX780 on the bench today. And so when I hook this one up to the end bulb, doing the initial power up, as you can see, I'm getting a super bright bulb on the end bulb. If you guys are working on a Pioneer SX780, this is a very good indication that one of the power packs have probably gone bad. Come on in closer and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, so as you guys can see here, are my two power packs. and so. I check the voltage on each one of these, and honestly, I can't tell uh, if one's good and one's bad or not. So what I'm going to do is desolder these guys, and then I'm going to uh, show you guys a trick that I learned from Audio Karma from one of the users on there. I'm going to take a 1K uh, resistor, and I'm going to put across pins 1 and 3 and 8 and 10 on each of these power packs on the board after I've disconnected the power packs. And so that allow me to see uh, if there's a difference in voltages amongst or between the two and then maybe help me troubleshoot it a little bit more and see where that short's coming from. And then if we get a relay click after disconnecting these, it's a good chance that either one or both of them have gone bad. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, there we have it guys. So I've disconnected or unsoldered the uh, Darlington power packs from the circuit board. And in the place of that, I've uh, put a 1K uh, ohm resistor across terminals one and three and eight and 10 on both sides. And so guys, you could have just desoldered the power packs and fired it up and see if you had a, uh, and check voltages and see if the relay click come on. But that's really hard on the circuit and can cause damage down the road. So it's a lot safer to go ahead and put these resistors in and then check voltages that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this up guys and let's see if we still get a uh, dim bulb uh, indicator and see what our voltages are. Okay guys, so I just fired it up and you guys probably heard it. We got a relay click and our Dim bulb is not bright. It's not shining on at all. So that's a good sign, guys. So it's probably one of the power packs. So we're going to go ahead and further diagnose this. We'll take a look at the voltages and see if we can't narrow down what's uh, what side, if not both packs, that are causing nice. this. All right, guys. So here we are set back up. I've got my multimeter up, and I've got it set to DC volts. And so we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up and take a look at the voltages on pins 1 and 10 of each, the left and the right side. <clears throat> so there's our relay click. So we're going to go to the left side, and we're getting negative 6.6. That was pin 1. On pin 10, we're getting positive 6.3 volts. So that actually looks good. So let's do the exact same thing and see if we're getting comparable voltages on the right side here. Remember this unit's upside down, so right is left and left is right. So on pin one, we're getting negative 7.1. And on pin 10, we're getting positive 6.5 volts. So these actually both look good. So that tells me that it's probably a power pack, guys, that's bad. I still don't know which side is bad, but when you do this and you're getting pretty much the same voltage on each, the left and right channel, it's a good indicator that nothing else in the circuit is damaged. Not always, but it's a good way to rule it out. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is solder back in one of the power packs and see if we get relay click still, or if the bulb, the bright bulb comes back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and tower this down and do that real quick, and we'll come right back. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and soldered back in this power pack, which is in the right channel. And so what I'm gonna do now, guys, is go ahead and turn the unit back on and see if the bulb illuminates and see if we get relay click. All right, guys, so the bulb did not come on. We got a relay click. So I'm assuming that this power pack in the right channel is good and that my problem power pack is this one on the uh, left channel. 
So I'm going to go ahead and replace this power pack and then hook it all back up and see if we still get relay click. So uh, stay tuned and I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, guys, here we are back. So we just got done installing the power pack for the left channel. So let's go ahead and turn on the unit and see if we get the relay click. And if so, let's see if we can play some music. There we go, guys. We got relay click. And we got music. So I hope this is a uh, quick video, guys, that shows you how to quickly diagnose whether you have a power pack issue. And it's, uh, like I said, a good indication that as soon as you put it on the dim bulb tester, if you get a super bright light, uh, most times that that's happened to me, it's been one of the power packs. And so I hope this uh, was able to show you guys my tips and tricks on how to quickly diagnose whether it's a power pack issue and how you can go about fixing it. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video.